Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And just a few thoughts about our cohabitation with other uh, sentient species in the um, third and fourth dimensions here on Earth. You know Earth is a kind of a, um, um, a landing space or a nesting space for uh, various sentient species in their development uh, as, as races uh, of awareness and God consciousness. They, they may or may not be ensouled, but all the, all the species that are sentient are, are moving towards greater and greater awareness of God and of all that is. And so here on Earth, <clears throat> We humans are in a very, uh, a very interesting situation. We have this chakric alignment, these various chakras. We have this beautiful Taurus energy of the electromagnetic field. We have many bodies, different uh, ranges of energy within our energy system, and we have souls. So we. It, through these various subtle bodies, we, we carry the energy through which we can reincarnate in physical form every once in a while, right? We reincarnate. So, aside from, so our awareness passes from physical awareness to physical awareness through the bridge of the subtle bodies. All right. So, here we are, those of us that are, that are you know, that are either speaking or viewing this video right now, here we are in physical form, again, most likely. All right, now, I've spoken before about the Martian bacterial colonists of Earth, which were the original sentient um, third-dimensional species on Earth. In fact, our, our all the different uh, forms on Earth, uh, mammalian and all the others, may be, or many of the others, may be derived from experiments, uh, genetic experiments of the original Martian colonists. And in fact, some form of bipedal um, being, large bipedal being, may have been the original, uh, like, look of the Martian bacterial colonists of Earth back on Mars before the planet became arid and uh, mostly uninhabitable, inhabited only by rock-boring um, Martian bacteria. And um, back then, there may have been a bipedal species, maybe like us, uh, roaming around on Mars, or some other form of bipedalism. Because to the Martians, the different like aspects of bipedalism may be um, relatively trivial compared to the genetic materials involved. As you may know, the genetic material of, of many of the beings on Earth uh, is very similar. A mouse and a person, very similar gen genetic material. Uh, only a few trivial changes, and that might be the attitude of the of the Martians, since they are geneticists, genetic engineers. Anyway, to get back to all this, to a Martian, we are the home of many, many Martians, right? The space station of many, many Martian bacteria, and and we each of us protects them from like marauding ants and so forth. We've been through that. Um, now. Uh, until the shift in 2012, there was an alliance going on between the, the 3D Martians, the bacterial colonists of Earth, both within other people and those that are free-ranging, free and, um, and the 4D colonists of Earth in the demon realm. Um, of course, there are many less demons around now many, many less. And uh, so that alliance is, is relatively less right now. Now, I'd like to explain, though, <clears throat> how the alliance went. 
the um, the demon realm is a specialist in telepathy. Telepathy takes place through the chakra known as the third eye point, the, the pituitary gland in human beings, between the eyebrows, deep inside the head, in the center of the head. The pituitary gland uh, on the astral plane provides the ability for this human space station to, um, to, to send forth telegraphic signals in the astral plane, astral and mental realms. So, the great technology of the sentient beings known as the demon realm, some call them Orion Crusaders, as in the Law of One, the Orion Crusaders. The great technology they have is to be able to manipulate other species through telepathy. They are natural telepaths. And so, they could and still can influence our um, our third eye point through, you know, sound. That's it, astral sound. Not through an understanding of English, but through manipulation of sound currents uh, flavored with various emotions. They can sense a difference uh, in the emotional signature of the mal speak that that gets placed in the third eye point. All right, so so the deal that the Martians worked out with the and and the Martians are also telepathic, um, but but the telepathy that they do uh, is because the Martians in human form are down inside the human gut. Their understanding of humankind has to do with the lower chakras, the third and second and first chakras. They think, they thought until quite recently that human beings were just dumb animals because the intelligence of the first through the third chakras, known in yoga as the lower triangle, is just very animal in nature. Right. And these were the signals that they were like flooded with in the part of the human being that is their home, which is the large intestine. Um, so they thought they were dealing with a dumb animal. And they contacted the, the uh, demon realm through the third eye point of people. And the demon realm agreed to put them in contact with other space stations, other human beings, um, and but and and also the idea was that the, that their space stations, the human beings, would develop technology to take the Martians back home to Mars again. They lack the understanding that Mars is mainly uninhabitable now, although they know that now. So so that's the reason for the human space program. I think is that the Martians really wanted it. <coughs> They made an alliance with the demon realm to, to initiate a space exploration program in the third dimension in exchange for the demon realm um, um, the demon realm directing them in, in, in what the um, human beings should be feeling in their lower triangle. So basically between the a capture of the third eye point, the pituitary gland, by the demon realm, and the capture of the first three, tri the, the lower triangle, the first three chakras, by the Martian bacterial colonists. We were held, held hostage during all these long years of the age of darkness. All right. Now, the thing that we human beings have that is specific to humankind is the heart chakra. The heart chakra, if awareness is placed on it, floods the um, lower three chakras, the, the lower triangle, and the pituitary gland with the kind of light that eliminates the, the mind control of the demon realm and the gut brain control of the Martian bacterial colonists. In effect, when we concentrate on the heart, we unify the human energy field and, it, and we become the captain of our, our ship. 
So, so there's that immediate like surcease to the uh, ceasefire and takeover, hostile takeover as it were, uh, by us humans of our human form. It consists in placing the awareness on the heart, either on the heart chakra or on the physical heart or on the heartbeat. Now the solar cycle here on Earth occurs approximately here every 11 years. Uh, every 11 years there's, a, there's approximately, very approximately, there's a solar minimum and every, and that lasts for a bunch of years, and every 11 years there's also a, a solar maximum. There's, these are staggered, so about every five and a half years there's, there's a solar minimum or a solar maximum. Right now we're in the solar minimum. At times of low light on Earth, even though the incoming light is flooding in right now, at times of low light it's very difficult to, to flood the um, energy field through the heart, to flood it with enough light because our heart is like a lens reflecting the light of the sun. It, it's through the... It be, our heart is like the sun. And, and when the sun is at solar maximum with regard to Earth, then our heart is flooded with energy, which makes it very easy for the heart to, to unify the energy field, so for us to feel harmony here on Earth. My experience of the solar minimum, the current solar minimum, is that it becomes very difficult for that to happen. And as far as I know from talking to other light workers, there's trouble everywhere uh, with regard to that. This is when the difficult things happen on Earth. And so what I attempt to do, which is out for trial right now, is to contact source during times of, of solar minimum. And the idea is that I can connect the energy of my third eye point with something higher as far as three feet up or even higher up and clear those areas and when I do that then I can get some surcease from the astral stories. Um, I alternate this at times when this, there's solar events during the solar minimum I alternate it with heart awareness. So it depends on Earth. There's a time of seasons and changes and cycles. And the things that work to allow us to maintain control and to maintain like um, uh, harmony here on Earth vary depending on the solar cycles That's, and the solar events. That's what I find. So um, you may find differently. I don't know. You know, you may... You may find that the heart energy carries you through no matter what, and it's certainly worth a try because it's the very best. At times like these, the other thing that, that we can do to, to like ride through the low energy storm here, storms here on Earth is we can use our ability to achieve orgasm um, to, 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 to reset the human energy system and, and make all the beings within our uh, energy field, third and fourth chakra, I mean, third and fourth dimensional energy field, suddenly very, like, full of energy and full of light and, and feeling joy and love and peace and so forth. And I do recommend that. I think that's one of the important features of the human energy system is the ability to achieve orgasm. Um, then there are a few other um, reset buttons, quite naturally one at the bottom of the torso and one at the top. Up here, up above, right up above the head, there's um, about one to three inches above the head. See there? There's, um, there's a reset area that all we have to do is place our awareness up there and it resets the the entire astral story, the entire karmic story. So we need not be bound by the causal realm by placing our awareness there. I don't know if I've told you this is by way of serendipity because that was pretty 
That's pretty far out, that stuff. At, by way of serendipity, because it's very difficult for us. You, they talked about miners. Uh, yeah, if you read the literature on extraterrestrial species on Earth, you hear about miners, right? But the miners, apparently, are not like out there somewhere. They're inside of us, mining the iron in our blood and mining the um, minerals in our gut. They're the microbes within our bodies, <laughs> which is kind of tough to, to concentrate on, you know. <laughs> it's kind of a tough thing to be a home to so many so many different um, gadzillion little sentient, as it turns out, beings. I've been going over um, uh, the, these micro, like, pictures that, that have been taken of microbes in the water and so forth, and it's discovered all kinds of interesting things about that, uh, which you very become very obvious when you're concentrating on the small within you, you know, um, you so it's one of those like abilities that we have is to concentrate on the super small, the micro biological aspect of ourselves if we want. And one of the things I've found out by concentrating on the the um, micro pictures, the micro videos is um, is is I became very aware of like that which the, is going on inside my own energy field. And, and I became aware that there's like chants and sounds and, and carryings on taking place amongst the various um, species of microorganisms inside me. And especially recently I had a, um, uh, a bout with uh, intestinal flu and the T cells started carrying on a war call against the invading organism that had gotten in and the invading organism itself had a very raw and rasping sound to it and it was it was going on about how it was going to take over and I could feel them inside and the t-cells going after them it was like a giant army <laughs> and then I heard and then I heard um the the T cells, as they would attack and start to eat these organisms, and there would be these these little shrieks and screams going on. It was like if you concentrated on the micro aspect of yourself, they were pretty loud. And so, and so then, as the T cells continued to to eat uh, the each one of these invading organisms, they would lapse, and they not the T cells, but the organisms would lapse into this dreamy state of of singing this like this 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 languid uh, longing for life, remembering that they had once been alive and now were dying death song, it reminded me of the, the T cells are like predators, you know, they're they're very, and it reminded me of the stories I'd heard of when a lion catches uh, like a deer. And uh, the, then suddenly, uh, because the deer has no chance, the deer is going to die. It, it, and people I've, I read, too, when, when they're caught by a predator, they, they fall into, like this sudden shock happens, and they fall into this state of, of languid acceptance, like a dream is going by, you know. And, 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 the, and the invading organisms, which are no less alive than we, no less aware of their existence than we had the same similar experience. Huh. So that was quite, quite a thing. <laughs> and, and further, viewing the, um, viewing this, the pictures of the microorganisms was quite an experience. I learned all kinds of things that I'll be writing about. Um, so then getting back into the more macro scale, which would be us, <laughs> not the gigantic scale, but the mid-range. Uh, oh, I think I mentioned that over here, I just found out that over in this area of the aura, there's, um, there's like a knob or organelle, astral organelle, that can be turned the one way to open like a hatch over here on this side to allow um, other beings such as children to get in and, and hide inside our energy field. Why they would want to do that, I'm not sure right now. 
but it, it could be something for very small children that they seem to know it immediately on being born. Uh, they turn something here uh, one way and it opens a hatch up like this, like this in our energy field and they can get inside and to them it seems like plenty big enough for them to hide in and play hide and seek in because they make it a game. Then if you ask they can close it the other way. You can yourself can play with that and, f and feel it. And there are probably, as I understand it from talking with various sensitives, there are many uh, astral organelles in the astral field of which I know very little right now. Should be an interesting exploration learning about our subtle bodies, huh? Well, y'all take care.